They all look decent. <laughs> Coast. They help us out uh, with some monetary uh, help as well to make all this possible. So please give our sponsors a, a quick round of applause, everyone. All right. So I'm going to have everybody stand up for just a second. Go to the person either right or left of you. If there's nobody to the right or left across from you, introduce yourself. Say, hi, I'm Doug Tobin, or whatever your name is. Hi, I'm... Hi, go ahead and do it to me. 
Nice meeting you. You can say nice meeting you. Go ahead. Oh, we're not done yet. Stand up. No. And then the person to the right of you or left of you. Make sure everybody gets to know. This is good practice. When you get in front of the employers, you want to make sure you've got your face on. You you can shake this person working for me. So you want to tell them, hey, this is who I am. And say your name so they remember it. Let me see Christine and also anybody else could volunteer. Oh. Leo is going to help us. Got to respect here. What's your name? Rajay. Rajay. Any ladies in the house that want to help us? Right here, I saw. What's your name? We have LinkedIn and we have TikTok. So all of those are, and we're going to be setting those out. Director, she's vice president of programs. Section, you know, from government. We have representatives from government. We have representatives from education and all the different industries of Florida and the Tampa Bay region. How's it getting jobs today? That means a paycheck is coming in. I need you guys excited to meet these employers. Good morning. Good morning. A little bit better. I'm going to work on that. Uh, let me just introduce myself first. And my so I've been with Bird so it's about two years now. And today we will be giving you some tips and tricks with interviewing. And then we'll go ahead and start. Get everything going. Instead of doing that, I'm just going to go through the do's and don'ts and stuff like that. Everybody know where's the bath where the bathrooms are? Okay. If you need to make a phone call, if you need to leave or anything like that, feel free to speak to one of the room attendants and they will assist you. Uh, be active and engaged. Display appropriate professional behavior. You guys are professionals. You guys look amazing, so I already know you're going to do that. Be Samantha. Circulating, getting ready, getting guys ready for the employers. So, one moment, let us get situated with that. So I want everybody to stand up in a circle. So. Yeah, it's a lot. So the game is, can y'all remember the names that aren't there around the room? Because after everyone has said their name, we're going to pass the bomb around. So are we going to point to someone and they have to remember that person's name? Um, let's see. We can do it that way. Well, the person next to them. The person next to them. The person next to them. So when the bomb stops, whoever has the bomb in their hand, you have to remember the person to your left's name. All right? So pay attention to the name they said. And don't tell the person they next your name. We look you. All right? Pass the mic. Okay. What's your name? Nice to meet you, Joe. And we're going to switch it up in between, too. We're going we gonna to tell y'all which direction we're going to look for next, just so y'all can tell. All right. So we're going to start off with Jaden. Jaden, I'm Chris. Rio. Babs. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Okay. Got you. Say it. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Okay. 
Your answers reflect adding value to the organization. Organize. So, how many in here today? I mean, probably did tell you. How many? Okay. All right. So, how many in the near future need a resume created? So, our services offer that help as well. Uh, but it's always a good practice whenever you go into a job fair. Always bring at least three to four copies of your resume. Um, that's just a good, you know, good rule of thumb. Um, your portfolio. Consider creating a portfolio of work you have done to add credibility. This is good for, like, if you're a graphic artist or graphic designer, this would be good to show your work. Also, if it's a photography, um, photography business, good to show some of the work that you've done before in the past. Or, so that's a good uh, rule of thumb to always have your portfolio with you to show what you've done. Um, history. Do not bad mouth your previous person interviewed and, oh, I want to be with my friend. But that's not the type of work that you want to do. That doesn't work. Don't take that job. That's not. Tell me about yourself. So those who had interviews before, do you remember that question? Did they tell you, ask you to tell personally? And it's, it's a good thing to, you want to let them know your, your um, work ethic as well as let them know something personal too questions employers ask what sort of pay do you expect so let's see on page four follow are you following on page four or oh, three and four that's right here at the employer let me make sure I'm on the right one okay some of the other um, interview questions that you feel are important that you would like to know mm -hmm. what is the company culture Anything else? Activity that's going to coincide with how you will master the actual interview. And that will be, how, how, have anybody ever heard of the 30-second, uh, 30-second, um, 30 um, like the elevator pitch or 30-second infomercial? <laughs> You're going to um, complete your 30-second interview. Now, your 30-second um, infomercial. Now, this is how I like to have, have your mind thinking. I have a job. I only have one position available. This job is $50 an hour. I can only hire one of you for this position. So you have to impress me in that 30-second um, that interview to make me feel like you are the best fit for that position. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kind of read this here. I know y'all probably saw this, but I'm thinking my eyes are back. So, 
Here's an example. Hello, my name is Sharon Jones and I'm a motivated, responsible worker. I have excellent customer service and communication skills. Again. So keep that loud and confident. Yeah. Be loud over there because there's going to be a lot of employers there in, in the room. For position, not all will hear back from the employer right away. Okay. And we'll get into a thank you message afterwards as well. That's the other important reason for collecting those business cards and that information. When you walk away, you... Yeah, it's just there. Harness the power of social media, like I was saying before, at lunch, if you can research the company that you're looking at, so you kind of know what... The good stuff for the next The interviewing, yep. Yep. So... Anybody here has ever interviewed for a job before? Okay, and if you remember nothing else from today, from yeah. today a little mantra. If you are not 10 minutes early, you're late. Does anyone know that? That is especially true of your first day. This is going to be a different, is not going to care that the Uber driver was late. Right? <laughs> it may work in more informal situations, but on your first day of your job, <laughs> right? as far as the employer is concerned. There's virtually no excuse. So if you can even get there half an hour early on your very first day, mm -hmm. or rehearse the travel. If you're taking a bus, make sure you know which stop you're getting off, rehearse the bus route. If you're driving there, make sure you've driven past. Relax, enjoy your day. Relax. Employers can also be nervous. Some of them. The talking. You guys do talking too, and the balance is the 50-50. So about half and half. So keep in mind that. And the next one is one of my favorites, the 32 rule. The best impression comes from speaking for between 30 seconds and 2 minutes at a time in an interview. Okay. Now the 2 minutes part may not be that hard. There are some situations where sometimes you might second guess yourself or overthink an answer, especially if they ask you for a story, like can you tell me about a situation where... So, in a perfect world, in an interview situation, whoever's interviewing you is not going to ask you any what we call closed-ended questions, mm -hmm. right? They're going to ask you open-ended questions so that you have to elaborate a little bit more on your answers. However, this is not elaborate on that question, on that answer. So, am I able to work on Saturdays? Um, yes, I am able to work on most Saturdays. Um, in fact, I would prefer to work on Saturdays as opposed to Mondays and Tuesdays. Right. Mondays and Tuesdays are the two days that I'm not able to work. Mm. Right? I just filled up a little bit more time and it gave him more information. Mm -hmm. A little closer to that 30 seconds. Yeah. So make sure your answers reflect adding value to the organization.